guys, Mike Wills here, rockinguitarism.com. It's a tough one, man. Um, taking you guys back. Ozzy Osbourne with Fool Like You. This is off the Ultimate Sin album. And the guy that made the request, man, I can't find it. Where is his name? And you made it a while back, so check this out. There's a couple harmonic variations. Now, Jakey Lee, he's actually one of my faves, but to find the right tones, you're going to have to mess around a little bit because he's doing above the middle pickup right you know this this side of it like if you're going down the pickup there that's how he hits his first one and it's hard to keep it clean you'll see what I mean um, I didn't play the whole thing through I'm gonna show you the two variations he actually does three because the last one he trails out and does like a like a neck bend I think but you wanna the pattern will be G and above that middle pickup like I said we don't have frets so we can't we don't really have anything to base it off of except that pickup. And then you go up to 24 on the high E and the B. And then do it again. Oops. Again. Only to the E though. So it's G, B, E, G. E, B, G, E. Okay, so you have... And then go G, E... B, G, and then the E. So that's one of the patterns. Oops. Um, and then one that he'll change later, he'll go, or uh, the third time through, I believe. So that first half's the same, and then he'll go. So the ending of that third one would go G, E, B, G, B. So you'll end up doing the above the pickup on G and the B. And they're hard harmonics to get. You'll see what I mean. Okay, behind that you've got, um, well, from the beginning when, when it comes in, the secondary guitar track is going to be this. Open E, second fret A. And by the way, now's the time to tell you it's tuned flat. <laughs> Half step down. Very important. I should have told you that sooner. Okay, so we got that. And then we're going to go 3, 5, 5, E, A, D. We'll go 2, 4, 4, A, D, G. And we'll go 1, 3, 3, E, A, D. So those are being played behind the harmonics that Jake's doing. Um, this part, really cool here. Because he'll actually keep that harmonic thing going with another rhythm like a... But that part we're not doing. We'll do this part. So go open E, palm mute, two times. Bar, um, I'm barring it. <clears throat> you can use two fingers if you want. Uh, second fret D and G. And then two palm muted E's again. And then go two D, one G. And then two open E's palm muted again. And then the two D, one G. And then strum the last four strings. So it's... Okay, that same concept applies on this, but a few different frets start it over. Instead of going to 2 1, go to 2 open. So it's a major to a minor. Okay. That's the only difference. And then we'll hit a 3A, 5D, 5G, strum all five strings from the A string down. And then go G, E, B, G. So, okay, the next one is the same, but um, the last chord will change. Instead of going to 3 5 5 ADG, go 2 G 3 B with an open A and an open D. Those fingers will work better because Jake goes. So, which is a, he did that type of stuff a lot. I love that style. Palm mute 3B, 5E, 3B, 2G, 4D, open D. So, and then open A and D, and then 2 A and D. And I like to do the first finger bar, but you know, you could use two fingers on this. You can't find anything of this live or anything on YouTube, by the way. So, maybe, the, I think this is the first. So, 
So after you do that, go open E, one, two, three. I gotta remember what happened there. So, four times on the open E palm muted, and then go five A, seven D twice. Hit that quick rest there, and then up to seven nine. So, wait. Just explain this part again. The 5A 7D, palm mute the open E once, and then hit that again, the power chord, and then 7 9. Or, so the next thing will be open E palm muted, down, down, up, and then 3A 5D, 5A 7D. And then 5A, 7D again, slide, or uh, hit that, move it to 7, 9, then slide that into nothing, meaning. So you kind of an exaggerated slide to let the, let that ring for a second, and then kind of slide it back, boom, stick your hand over the strings, and it cuts off the notes. So, and I know it's not a bunch of the song, that takes us up to approaching a minute of the song. The harmonics alone are going to drive you nutty, guaranteed. So, anyways, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. This one as well as Rock and Guitar Lessons 2, which is my In the Style of channel. Um, go to rockandguitarlessons.com. There's a temporary site up now. And if you don't mind, fill out the contact information. For one, it'll keep you in the loop with what's going on, the progress with the website. For, for two, if you're going to make requests, that's what I require. So, it's a win-win for you guys. If you haven't done that, go do that. Appreciate each and every one of you guys. I'm loving this journey. And um, also, when you go to rockingguitarlessons.com, there's a tab there for uh, lessons and the information for taking lessons on Skype for guitar, bass, or vocals. My wife Jolene's doing the vocals and I handle the rest. Pricing's there, everything. So, um, good stuff. Let me know. My email, mike at rockingguitarlessons.com. Okay, if you don't mind, spread the word. Uh, put these on your Facebook wall, your buddy's Facebook wall, and your buddy's buddies dad's uncle's Facebook wall. Alright guys, I will talk to you guys soon and um, I'm going to try to play this for you on the outro. I'll probably screw up the harmonics. Seriously. Seriously. Remember to tune flat for this. Hear the slop? So, tie a hairband over here. No, because then your harmonics won't work. Just practice it and practice it and practice it. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you later. Thank <laughs> you.